Hey everybody, it's Eric here with Spartan Auto Works and GMFlash.com. Today I'm making a quick tutorial video on the 99 fog light harness install. Now this install will not cover the actual install of the front harness uh, with the lights uh, or the switch, but this is going to cover the procedure of adding the pin into the fuse box. Uh, procedures are pretty much the same. If you saw our other video of the install, it's you know a little more in depth on how to remove the box. Um, but the box removal is pretty straightforward. Uh, once you have your box unbolted and tilted up, you're going to be moving the green connector, which is your front uh, light kit um, connector. Uh, you'll need a 7mm bolt to remove it from or unlock it from the box itself. Uh, once it is unlocked, you will pull it out. Uh, the wires we're going after will be the, you know, obviously the two that come in your kit with one pin. Uh, factory wires are purple. Um, and they are going into the A3 position. So when you pull it out of the box like so, tilt it up and the top is six and the bottom is one. So A1, two, three will be your, uh, uh, where you put in your uh, connector for your fog lights. Uh, or if you count down from the top, one, two, three, four from the top, which will also be the A3 location, uh, will be your, your connection for the fog lights. Now it's a very simple process. This one here I've already kind of taken apart a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw the lock back in it. So this is going to be your lock on the side that keeps your pins from pulling out. So you'll need your pick tool. Go ahead and take your pick tool, pop out the lock, set that to the side, and then get your, uh, your uh, harness kit. And I know it's going to be a little fuzzy to see, but you'll check the rotation in the front on how the pin goes. So there's an open side and a rounded side. The rounded side obviously goes to the top, so that will engage the, uh, the lock. So let's go back over here. We're gonna go to the bottom. If it was being pulled out like so and just rotate it down, we're gonna go to the bottom. So that's A1, 2, 3. So position number three, A3. We're gonna go ahead and put this back in. All right. Hopefully that's fully seated. Let me check it out. It is not fully seated. Yours might be a little bit easier because you won't have it bound up in the, the wiring harness, but I need to get this in just a little bit more to hit the lock. You can try pulling it out. There, that one's fully seated now. So that's fully in. So you can come to the front and check. That's gonna be A1, two, and three. So A3, you can see the locks on top. Uh, you probably won't be able to see it in the video, but you can see the locks on top. Like here's a lock right there. So you want to make sure one, two, three. You want to make sure the the lock goes into the open side of the uh, the terminal. So it looks all good there. So then we'll need to put our lock back in that locks the the pins into the actual plastic housing or the front light pack housing. Then we'll rotate, put it back up into the truck, grab our seven millimeter tighten her back down it doesn't have to be too tight you just want to firmly seat it and then uh, after that just be a simple reinstall of the box and uh, that's all there pretty much is to that part um, when you come up to the top part once you get your box reinstalled here and see if I can line this up with the camera in the way All right, so now you have your box reinstalled. You will have to come up to the top here, and there's two fuses. Um, either you can use the uh, 8567 fuse, or there's a three-leg uh, three relay you can also use in there. Um, pop that into this location right here, which I don't know if it's got a number location. Let's see, on your chart, it's going to... Uh, it doesn't have a it doesn't have a number location like the newer style trucks do. But anyway, top right of the box or right side of the box, the first uh, relay spot. Then directly over from that, you're going to have a relay spot that's not used, and then a 10 amp fuse uh, most likely, and then the next one here is going to be an empty spot. So that fuse will be a 15 amp fuse. I know it's a little out of focus, but that will be a 15 amp fuse, and uh, that is your fog light fuse. Other than that, just reassemble the box and uh, put your brace back in, and then obviously your switch, you know, route your wiring and uh, your ground, and then install your fog lights, and that's pretty much it. 
Um, this is really just to cover a more in-depth uh, view of the actual inserting the terminal into the front light pack kit harness uh, just so there's good clarification for the 9902 guys that may have uh, issues um, trying to decipher uh, from the other video since it wasn't very up close. So if you guys have any questions or uh, concerns, please reach out to us at 636-795-6960. Uh, if you have purchased a kit or made your own kit or purchased a kit from somebody else and uh, on 9902 truck and the fog lights do not work, um, your BCM will require a reprogram. We can do that for you. Um, give us a call at either 636-795-6960 or 314-43-FLASH and uh, we can reprogram that for you for the lights. Now this particular truck, I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, it was pre-wired uh, for fog lights from the factory. They were just zip tied up or clipped up underneath the uh, front uh, course port. Uh, and it was also missing the fuse and the relay. Now we put all that stuff in, hoping for the best that it would be a plug and play, no reflash required, but there was a reflash required uh, to make them uh, operative. Uh, but it's pretty pretty simple install, guys. If you have any questions, like I said, uh, either drop us an email or give us a call and we can walk through the process. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. And like I said, give us a call at Spartan Auto Works if you have any questions or if you'd like to purchase one of these kits or if you have any more uh, technical difficulties with the insertion of the pin. Um, you know, hopefully this will uh, um, rectify all those questions that you may have.